Hey everybody, it's Jay. Welcome to my channel, or welcome back if you've been here before. I usually go shopping for two weeks worth of food and today's the day. I generally go to Costco, but given it's Christmas season and Costco's a mob scene at this time of year, I'm gonna try something different. I'm gonna do my shopping at Aldi's. I've never been to Aldi's before, but I checked their weekly flyer and they have rib roasts this week for $7.99 a pound. I'm on the carnivore diet and have been for the past four and a half months. In those four and a half months, I've lost 65 pounds. I've gone from a 44 inch waist to a 38 inch waist and I feel better than I have felt in years. Let's go in. <laughs> this is funny. I actually had to go back to my car and get a quarter for the shopping cart. Never saw that before. All the fruits that I used to eat and don't touch anymore. I'm here for the meat. Zero sugar smoked sausage. It has celery powder. That's not, that's not carnivore. And it has casings colored with caramel and carmine. Zero carbs, but you know, I don't like those additives. Snack sticks, turkey sausage. Corn syrup solids, nope. Hydrolysized corn protein. Cracked pepper steak strips. We try not to snack on carnivore. I'm always looking for something like those beef jerkies that I could use as a meal substitute. Sometimes I'm not really that hungry for breakfast or my afternoon meal, and a couple pieces of jerky would do the trick. But not, none of those look like good options. Organic eggs, 367. That's quite a bit less than what I pay at uh, Costco. I think I pay $7.99 for two dozen. I'm gonna go for the Golden Hen Free Range Eggs. Now I'm gonna need four dozen of these to last two weeks. Actually, I often go through four dozen in a week. That's one item that I usually have to come for a refill before my two weeks are up. But that's as many as I want in the fridge at any one time. Staying away from all dairy products for the next couple weeks. I've plateaued a bit. I've only lost maybe three pounds in the past two weeks. So I'm gonna stay away from dairy products and bacon and stick more to a lion diet. I'll talk about that in another video. Good price on the Jarl Jarlsberg. Pepper Jack, 189. I gotta say the prices here are pretty good. Here's the meat. which is what I'm most interested in. 80-20 beef for $4.19 a pound. I think it's $4.99 at Costco, or at least that's what I paid last time. I'm gonna get four pounds. That's four meals. Here's the ribeye roast. That's $7.99 a pound. That's a very good price. Rack of lamb, $9.99 a pound. I wonder if that's what I thought was on sale. Little gathering over in the meat area. I'll come back in a minute. Let's see what they've got for frozen food. Well, the frozen ground beef roll is $3.60 per pound. That's 80 cents cheaper. It's also fatter. It's uh, 73.27. I like that. I'm gonna get a couple of these. <sighs> Medium cooked shrimp, 535 a pound. Not bad. What if they have salmon here? Wild caught pink salmon, that was $5 a pound. I think that was like $9.99 at Costco. Let me get one of these too. 
double check that it's only salmon and not any spices or anything. Salmon, water, sodium trifolyphosphate added to retain moisture. Product of China. Well, what is it these days? I'll give it a try. I have to Google that chemical when I get home and see what, what exactly it is. Wild caught ahi tuna. <laughs> That's less than a serving. That's expensive. Well, not really. This would make one dinner for four seventy for four seventy five. Been a while since I had tuna. You know, I think I'll get some shrimp too. It's been a while. And cook them with a the steak one night. Argentine red shrimp, $9.99 a pound. Jumbo Easy Peel Raw Shrimp. $8.89 a pound. These are a bit more expensive, but they're pre-peeled. That's what I'm gonna go for. I'm buying things I don't usually buy. It's nice to try a different store once in a while. People keep coming close to me to check out what I'm doing. Wonder if any of them have ever seen me on YouTube before. <laughs> Look at all this candy. This entire row is candy and sugar cereal. I know it's Christmas, but really. The Craft people eat stevia, sucralose. If you're doing carnivore, it's best to stay away from those altogether. Anything sweet, best to lose that taste. Wow, I'm glad I got here early. Lots of traffic in the meat department. So I'm gonna put these non-frozen beef back because I found something better and cheaper with more fat better for my purposes. Because this is such a good price, I'm actually going to buy two of them. $10.99 a pound for tenderloin. It's probably six meals there, but I don't, I don't know how to cook it. I've never cooked a tenderloin before. I do have a taste for some lamb, so let's see what they've got in the lamb department. Bone-in lamb loin chop. Not even a pound, only two of these. dollars each that's a $16 meal yeah I'm gonna buy a couple uh, crown lambs for $5.85 each hey okay, there's one more thing on my list coffee let's go see where that is You know, this really is a good budget store. If you're not eating carnivore especially, they have all kinds of things here for like, maybe a two thirds of the price that I see them in other stores. I think it's one of those stores you would come to first to see what you can buy. And then whatever you don't find here, you can go to a different store, kind of like a discount store, you know? They don't have much in the coffee department, so. That will be a different store. So I ended up spending $171 and I bought enough meat for one, two, no, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 15, 18, 21, probably about 21 meals. I also got four dozen eggs, which I usually add to things if I'm cooking ground beef or maybe if I do the shrimp one day. I still need to get coffee and I'd like to get some San Pellegrino water. 
So that's going to add another 30 to it. I'll be keeping to my two week budget of $200. If not, I'll be very, very close. So I got to say, Aldi was less money than what I would have spent at Costco. And I'm glad that I got a couple of things that I don't usually get. That ahi tuna, some shrimp, the rib roasts, and the ground lamb. Took me out of my normal habitual zone and I started looking at other food. My feeling about Aldi, great store. They have a lot of good deals there, but it's not a complete store. It's a place you would go for your first store of the day and then you'd probably need to go somewhere else to, to buy the things that you didn't find at Aldi. It's kind of like the TJ Maxx of the grocery world. Uh, they have the discount, discount products, but because of that, they often have some holes in the selection, but great place to go in and get the bulk of your food. I have to buy gas, so I'll probably go to Costco anyway. And the coffee there is a much better deal than anything I saw here. I'll also say there were an awful lot of senior citizens in there, uh, frugal shoppers. Hey, wait a minute, I'm 60. I guess I'm getting to be a senior citizen. Hmm, I wonder if they have a discount. I should have asked next time. I can't get over that quarter thing. <laughs> and people actually uh, bring their carts back to get their quarter. 